Okay, welcome back guys and gal. Uh, so what we're going to do is, you guys remember last week we learned about the five W's, who, what, where, when, why, and how. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to coordinate that with uh, simple sentences and compound sentences as well as uh, what makes a compound sentences and how to add a conjunction. So for today's objectives, I would like to read these out loud and I want you guys to repeat them to me, okay? Mm -hmm. So, I can learn simple sentences. I can, I can learn, learn simple, simple sentences. sentences. I can learn compound sentences. I can, I can learn, learn compound, compound sentences. sentences. I can work with my peers. I can, I can work, work with, with my peers. peers. I can identify the five W's within compound sentences. I can identify the five W's within compound sentences. And last one, I can add conjunctions within a sentence. I can add conjunctions within a sentence. Okay, so let's start off with simple sentences that we have here, okay? So, can somebody tell me what they know about a simple sentence? Esme? Uh, is it easy? It's something it easy. easy. Okay, yeah I, I, yeah, I guess we can say something like that. It's something easy, okay? So, a simple sentence, a sentence typically contains a subject and a verb, okay? Does anybody know what a subject is inside a simple sentence? No. No? Okay, so a subject is like a, a person or a place. We can kind of consider that like a noun, okay? Person, place, or thing, okay? And do you guys know what a verb is? Yes. No. Okay. Alina, what's a verb? Can you describe an action? Describe an action. You got that, Peter? Yeah. So a verb is an action. So an action is like jumped or running or swam. Esme, can you give me a verb? Action word. Um, uh, running? Running, okay. Peter, can you give me a verb? Jump. Jump. Nina, can you give me a verb? Swimming. Swimming, okay, that's a, that's, a, that's a good verb. Okay, good job, guys and gal. So, I'm going to write a sentence up here, okay, and I want you guys to be able to tell me what the uh, subject is and what the verb is, okay? And I want you guys to write this on your paper. You got a question, Esme? I was going to ask, but you wanted to write the question. Yes, I want you to write it on the paper, okay? So, the first sentence is, the dog barked, okay? The dog barked, okay? Can somebody tell me the subject in this sentence? Peter. Dog. Dog. Good job. Okay? So the dog is a subject because it's the, either the person, the place, or the thing. Okay? So what I want you guys to do is write an S above dog. Okay? So you guys remember that that's the subject. Now who can tell me the, the, the verb? Nina. Bart. Bark. Okay, why is bark the verb? Because it's describing what the dog is doing. It's describing what the dog did or it's the action, okay? So uh, bark is the action and the verb. So put a V above bark, okay? okay? So we're gonna do, we're gonna try another example uh, with another sentence, okay? So the next sentence we're gonna write down is uh, the bird flew. The bird The bird flew. Okay? Who can tell me the subject in this sentence? Nina? Yeah. Bird. Bird. Why is bird the subject? Because it describes who we're talking about. Yeah, it describes who we're talking about. So, the bird is the subject. Who can tell me the verb? Desmond? Flew. Flu. Why is flu the verb? It's describing what it's doing. It's describing what it's doing. It's the action. The action is flu. Okay? So, go ahead and put an S above bird and a V above flu because the action, okay? And we'll try one more, okay? So, uh, the man ran, okay? The man ran. Peter, can you tell me the subject in this sentence? Man. Man, good job, Peter. So put an S above man. And who wants to volunteer and tell me the verb? Me. Esme. Ran. Ran. Great job, Esme. Thank you. You're welcome. Put a B over ran. Okay, so now what I want you guys to do as a group is I want you guys to come up with three sentences. 
as a team, okay? And I want to see the subject and the verb in simple sentences. So go ahead and I'll give you guys uh, two minutes to go ahead and get that done. Okay. The cat jumped. The cat jumped? The cat is the subject and jumped it. It was doing. Or did. What about. Um, what are you guys the doing? Boy, it's playing. Right? That's good, right? Boy. You guys doing? You guys done with those sentences? Yes. You guys all got three sentences that yes. you collaborated with each other. Yes. Okay. So, uh, Peter, go ahead and tell me your guys' first sentence that you came up with. The cat jumped. The cat jumped. The cat jumped. Okay. Can you tell me the subject in that one? Um. Cat. The cat. Okay. And how about the verb? Jumped. Jump. Okay. Good job, guys. And gal. Who can tell me the second sentence? I will. Ezra. The boy is playing. The boy is playing. Okay. The boy is playing. What's the verb? Playing. Playing. Why is the verb the playing? Because it's telling what the boy is doing. Or why is playing the verb word? Okay, yeah, because it's the action what he's doing. And what's the subject? Boy. Boy. Okay. Boy. Now, what about your third, guys' third sentence? The man ran. Mr. Pola is teaching. Mr. Pola is teaching. What's the subject? Mr. Pola. Mr. Pola. Okay, and the verb? Teaching. Teaching. Okay, good job. It looks like you guys are doing pretty well with simple sentences, okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move on to compound sentences. Who can tell me what a compound sentence is? I don't know. That word sounds Does that sound too hard. difficult? Does that... Yeah. Okay, well, let me help you, Esme. Um, a compound sentence is... Uh, basically two sentences, okay? And within, it's two sentences that has one period, okay? So I'll, I'll kind of explain it a little better as I go. So with a compound sentence, you need to have a conjunction, okay? A conjunction word connects both of the sentences together, which, which makes one sentence, okay? Mm -hmm. So over here we have an acronym, if you guys want to write this on your paper, called FANBOYS, F-A-N, A-N, so F-A-N-B-O-Y-S, okay? Go ahead and write that down. I have it right here. Okay, so the, the F is for for, the A is for N, the N is for nor, the B is for but, O is for or, Y is for yet, and S is for so. So for the conjunction, what we do is we use that, like I said already, to connect both sentences together, okay? So, uh, for the first, you, you, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, you kind of have to I've stare on your face. I've never seen two sentences together. You've never seen two sentences together? Yeah. Okay, so let me give you an example so I can help you out, okay? So, and, 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 hope, and you should be able to get it, okay? And if you need more help, please ask and I'll be able to help you with that, okay? Mm -hmm. So, the first sentence that we're going to use is, I wash the dishes, so go ahead and write that down. Okay. Wash the dishes. I wash the dishes and my friend dried them. Okay? I wash the dishes and my friend dried them. Okay? So this is literally two sentences into one sentence. You guys get that? Yeah. Okay? So the conjunction that's combining the this the sentence is the word. Who can tell me the conjunction? And. And. Good job. Okay, that's that's a good job. Okay, so underline and. Okay, and is the conjunction sentence. Okay, so it's telling you that 
it's connecting the second sentence, okay? So instead of having two periods and starting a whole new sentence, we just do one sentence. So who wants to tell me in this first section here, the subject, and then who wants to tell me the verb? Any volunteers? I. I. Yeah, I is describing the person as an I or you or me, okay? I, so we'll put an S over the I for the subject. And who wants to tell me the verb? Um, Nina. Washed. Washed. Good job, okay? Washed is the verb because it's the action that's telling you something. And we also uh, decided that and is the conjunction, okay? And is the conjunction. So this is the second sentence, okay, even though it's like the first sentence, okay? Who can tell me the subject in the second part? Peter. Friend. Friend. Okay, why is friend the subject? Because that's describing what, I guess, the person or, right? Yeah, it's describing, it's describing the person. That is correct. That yes. is correct. Good job. So we'll put an S over friend, okay? And who can tell me, uh, who can tell me the, uh, a verb in this. Um, is it dry? Dry. Good job, Esma. Yes, it's dry because it's telling you the action of what they did. Okay? So, I washed the dishes and my friend dried them. Okay? Great job. Let's try another one real quick. Okay? Ready? Uh, let's write this down. John will either visit her cousin. So, John will either visit his cousin John will either visit his cousin or he will stay home okay John will either visit his cousin or he will stay home who can tell me where the conjunction that in this sentence? Peter. Or. Or. Why is it or? Because that's it's making the sentences together, right? Good job. Yes, that's what I wanted to hear. Go ahead and underline or. That's what's connecting both of the sentences. Okay? So who can tell me the subject in the first part of this sentence? John will either visit his cousin. John. Esme, John, yes, you are correct. So go ahead and put an S over John. And Nina, can you tell me the verb? Visit. Visit, yes, because he's doing something, okay? So put a V over visit. Great. Now the second part. He will stay home. What's the subject in that one? Nina. He. He, yes. Put an S over that. And what's the verb? Peter. Stay. Stay. Because it's what he's actually doing. It's the action part. So put a V over that. Good job. So what I want you guys to do is, now that we've gotten two of these under our belt, as a team, I want you guys to go ahead and create two compound sentences. Okay. Actually, create one compound sentence. Okay? And then go ahead and let me know what you guys what you guys do. And make sure you guys remember that you have to put a conjunction to it to combine both sentences, okay? Okay. Okay. I read the book. I read the book. And where's the... No, I will read the book. And then what? And I will... my friend will put it away. Okay. I will read the book. How are you guys doing? Good? Okay. okay. And So is the um, subject I? Yes. So we have a subject. And then we have, what would be the... Subject. The verb. Okay. Read. Read. Okay. And then the conjunction would be the end, right? Yeah. And then, is it my or friend or something? Okay, we're done. Okay. So, as a team, what did you guys come up with? 
I will read the book. I will read the book. And my friend will put it away. And my friend will put it away. So, what is the conjunction in that sentence that combines both of the sentences together? Peter. And. And. Okay, good job. Now, uh, what's the subject and the verb in the first part of that one sentence? I is the subject. Okay. And read is the verb. Read is the verb. Good job. Now, how about the second part? Nina, can you tell me the subject? Friend. Friend. Okay. And how about the verb? Is it put? Put it away? Put? Yeah, I will read the book and my friend will put it away. So put is the action word because you're doing something, okay? So now that we've learned conjunctions, we've learned compound sentences and simple sentences, I know last class that we had, we learned about the who, what, where, when, and why. In this conjunction, the one you guys created, can you tell me the who of the sentence? I. Who is it talking about? I. Okay, I. I, I that's who is we're talking about. And uh, what is that person doing? Reading? They're reading. Okay, great. Okay, so uh, where are they reading the book at? Even though you guys didn't write it, we can make believe. Probably in their room. Probably in their room. You guys all agree? Yeah. Okay. And uh, when do they usually do this? In their spare time. In their spare time, probably. Okay. And why do you think they have to do that? Learn. Probably to learn. Okay. All right. Well, great, well, great job. So we covered uh, simple sentences, compound sentences. We also incorporated the who, what, where, when, and why at the end of our lesson. And you guys also learned about conjunctions, OK? Do I have any other questions or concerns? Or is there anything you guys you don't understand? I understand now the compound sentences. You understand the compound two. sentences? I'm glad yes. you did. At first, did you not? No, it was really Did you feel like you were going to struggle? Yes. OK, now, well. When I saw it, now I understand it. OK, how about you, Peter? No questions. No questions, Nina? Okay, well, I'm glad I was here, able to help you guys and teach this lesson to you guys. Uh, thank you for everything, and uh, great job, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you.